this parent, say a 15 year old, went from a preppy kid to a wannabe gangster. Now, if you can see the before and after pictures, you can see this on the on the left. This kid looks like a nice little angel, but on the right, one badass motherfucker. But to me, I really don't think this kid is a gangster. Well, a lot of things, this kid would not even survive in a real life gang or in a hood or whatever. This kid looks like he probably is going to get shot by a lower rank gang and some shit. Like, this kid would not survive this. Well, let's watch this video, 15 year old. Man, that 15 year old kid thinks he's a gangster, so, yep, let's watch this video. I'm from a preppy style child, wearing boots, shoes, preppy clothes, and now he's trying to be gangster. Dawson is dangerous and he's completely out of control. Soon after we moved... Wait, wait, how did he get the guns? I mean, it is America. <laughs> but the thing is, I, I really feel like this kid plays... He got ever, he got any more... I think the real... Ever first kill he got was, like, in, like, uh, Fortnite. Like, I don't think this kid has the balls to kill anyone. Like, if you look at this kid, he looks like a... A, a, a kids try to shoot up school or try to be a gangster. Like, I really don't believe this kid can be tough. So. I also started hanging around with, um, to say the least, the, the wrong crowd. If you ask me, it's a bunch of thugs. Dawson will get an attitude and call me his bra, and I'm his mother. He started getting into trouble. Dawson was caught distributing pot at school. He was expelled. Dawson and his friends were caught giving pills to a girl at the local skating ring. The next thing I knew, the police were at our front door bringing Dawson home that night. I was furious. Dawson's become really fascinated with guns. When you look at his social media page, it's full of him with guns and drugs. Now, Dawson's been running away. Just a few weeks ago, Dawson disappeared. We contacted the police. The local news even ran stories to be on the lookout for him. Berkeley County deputies need your help to find a 15-year-old runaway. The sheriff's office says Dawson was last seen Monday morning. After six days, the police did find Dawson. Dawson refused to come back home with us. Dawson said he wanted to stay with his dad's sister, his Aunt Abby. He was at my sister's house for four days, and he took her van and took off. He picked up a 13-year-old girlfriend. He was driving 110 miles an hour down road. Wait, 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 wait. A 13-year-old girlfriend? This guy, so wait, this guy's 15, and he is picking up a 13-year-old girlfriend. Just what the hell, man? I mean, I know, but still, this, this guy's trying to be one of those, he's trying to be like CJ from some GTA side of his, dude, this, this kid is fucking stupid, man. That is some dumb shit. Social media, we were able to track him down. Now Dawson is back home. Our house has basically turned into a prison. Dawson's staying in the house pretty much seven days a week, 24 hours a day. We've added extra security sensors and cameras. We're just watching his every move. <laughs> this we even purchased joke. cuffs to keep him in the house. We haven't used them yet. Now when I look at my son Dawson, I just don't know what to think. I'm afraid he's lost. My biggest fear is he's going to end up in jail or end up dead. Okay, guys, can we just jump right in here? Yes, sir. We're talking about your son. Absolutely. Robin and I raised two boys, so I, I relate to these boys and all the things that they can get into and all the temptations that are out there for them. Are, are you truly surprised? Did this just come out of the blue? I'm very surprised. Dawson has always been, I mean, he's always been on the mischievous side, but... It did seem like as soon as we moved, the legal stuff started happening. I had no idea he was interested in any criminal activity. Well, how old was he when you moved? Thirteen. Yeah, because this was that. his life, right? I mean, you know, yes. he's, he looks like a happy kid. He's hanging out, he's playing in the snow, fishing, turtles, big smile, puppies. I mean, this is what you want, right? right. And he enjoyed every bit of it. He, he was always social. Ran around our neighborhood, played with all the children. Then you guys moved. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, and and concurrent with the move, soon after we start to see pictures like this. Correct. These all came to light in the last month and a half, where when he ran away the first time, and we really started digging and trying to find him, talking with any friends he'd communicated with. Uh, he actually started talking with his aunt. So we were able to get some of these images, and it was it was shock. It was. Why were you getting it from them? Were you not following him on well, his social media platforms? Not on the Snapchat. He 
has fake names. We don't know the names of it, so he changes his name into these strange names so he doesn't allow us to be. My husband's not on social media, and I'm only on Facebook. Okay, let's start making a list. That's your okay. first mistake, okay? Correct. You need to be tracking this boy everywhere he goes. Seem like everybody else knew a lot about this because he's created this whole persona out there. I'm just saying, these, I'm not blaming the parents, but how can you lend this kid like a AK-47? I mean, I don't know that it looks like AK-47, but whatever he has, like, how can you lend this kid a gun? I don't know where he got it from. I don't know, maybe he got it from his uh, high school shooters or whatever. No, I'm not trying to make a joke, guys, but seriously, I seriously don't think this kid would even survive in a real life hood. With this kid's kind of haircut and with his kind of, you know, thinking he's want to be gangster, nah, bro, his, his ass is sliced, like, for real. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. That was pretty funny. So, yeah, guys, later.